Hi, good morning. This is Travis and Kathy from the Steel Magnolia. We're doing a little uh, transplanting this morning into the hydroponic garden and uh, come across a little something and I wanted to share. Uh, most of the time we grow our own plants from seed, but occasionally we'll buy a store-bought plant. And this came from one of our little local nurseries and this is a Cherokee purple, one of my favorite tomatoes. But now when you're putting this into the hydroponic garden, which has perlite in it, you don't want the soil and all this other stuff in there because that will basically contaminate and mess up the system. Uh, in the past, we've always taken this and dunked it down in water and washed it around to get the soil off of the roots because you want to protect the roots. Well, I just happened to discover something that was a little bit easier. Thought I'd share it with you and it's about <laughs> 10 minutes uh, uh, less work. Anyway, just take and start gently breaking this up. You don't want to damage the little white roots. But I'm just gently squeezing it. And believe it or not, these plants are way tougher than what you would think they would be. And once we get it down to about like that, it's a matter of just shaking it a little bit and you can start to see the roots are starting to show bare. Okay. And that's pretty good right there. Now, what Miss Kathy and I have done in the past, we've taken the hose, and I'm rinsing my hands off. We've taken the hose in the shower configuration, which is this type, and gently tried to clean all of the uh, potting soil off of the roots. It doesn't work real well. What I did find that a flat spray, and that's not excessively hard, but it's a flat spray, does an amazing job of removing everything from it. So, with the exception of a speck or two of bark on the inside, that's now ready to go into the hydroponic garden. So, let's walk over and take a look at that. Alrighty, well we're getting ready to put this uh, Cherokee Purple into our perlite. So if you'll take a look what I've done, I've made a hole down in the perlite. Okay. And our roots are cleaned off. Now unlike a lot of plants where you don't want to plant any higher than where it was uh, uh, previously in the dirt, a tomato plant, you can just about put the whole thing in. So the more it has in the ground, the more roots it'll make. So we can see that length there. I'm gonna push it down in there and then take our perlite and just gently pack it around it. And I'll take the water flow here and I'll get it positioned so that it's pointing down to the roots and that's all we'll have to do with that one. All right, let's get another one. We're playing with a NFT hydroponic system just something we put together out here on the front porch and uh, just going to see how it'll work out and NFT stands for nutrient film technology uh, that's the sump it has a pump in it water is being pumped up through this line into here we go into these cups and you can see the roots are already hanging out the bottom of them and it's down into the water because there's water flowing through there. Water continues to flow down over the roots. Down here, the water exits, comes out of here, runs into this one. Then this tube reverses back. So we've got a couple plants already in there. And then from here, it dumps out and goes back to the sump. And uh, we're going to try growing some greens and some strawberries on this. So that's two strawberry plants there. I like that tin roof you did. Absolutely. Well, you know, everything here at the Steel Magnolia is made out of steel. So 
might as well have that here with the hydroponics as well. But I uh, wanted to show you briefly uh, what we're doing. Uh, we've made some modifications from last year and the year before, previous years. In the past, we have used rock or gravel as our grow medium in our buckets. And while that works pretty good, it's really hard to clean because it's so heavy. Uh, from what I can understand, the perlite, while is doesn't grow any better than what the fine gravel would in this environment uh, it is a whole lot lighter and easier to work with and so for me that's a good thing let me show you a, a quick summary of the system now, understanding this has been adapted to what we're doing this year with the perlite uh, this is a 50 gallon insulated sump it's actually a two inch thick styrofoam uh, aluminum clad container I have two pumps so I actually have two systems, and as you can look down, I got a rail on both sides of me. Okay, so they work independent of each other on two separate pumps. Now I can actually run these off of one pump, but if I had one pump fail and I didn't catch it in time, I have the potential of losing everything. At least this way, half of the crop is always protected. So basically the black line that you're looking at here is a supply line coming from the pump and it comes up and it runs the length of this whole run of buckets here which is 10 buckets and this is traditionally called a Dutch bucket system uh, we have installed the little snap-in adapters so I can take a little tiny piece of drain hose or drip hose and connect to it and all you have to do is make a small hole in there and these little fittings just snap into place so easy to work with and this will be directed down towards the roots. Now, uh, as the water trickles down through, they drain into this pipe structure here. Okay, then all the buckets are connected together at this level, and it returns and drains back here, and that's what this is, is the water returning to the sump. Okay? Uh, because of my old system that I used, I had an overflow system, and I just left this in place because it's just convenient. It's there. If something got stopped up, I still have protection. But well, we have grown some amazing tomatoes in our hydroponic garden out here. And uh, this year, we're going to actually be putting the top on the greenhouse. So come fall, we'll be fully enclosed out here. And we're looking forward to that. So I got to get busy and get these last couple of uh, tomato plants in the, in the perlite so they're ready to go. See you in a little bit. I hear the train coming around the bend at the steel magnolia. <laughs>